Hi, welcome to the part 6 of this video series. We are looking at some real certification questions for AC900. This is the new series. It has a brand new question. Please do refer this playlist which already has a lot of 900 questions. These are still relevant. Please subscribe to my channel for questions 1 to 30. Please refer parts 1 to 5 of this video series. Let's have a look at question number 31. This is a question and we have to pick one correct answer. You have a subscription and you have several VMs. The question says they create a new subscription and what happens if they create a new subscription? The first one says this option says these virtual machines are tied up to this subscription so they cannot move to this black new subscription which is wrong they can. The second option says the virtual machines can be moved to the new subscription this is correct in a real life implementation it can happen you have an existing subscription and you want to move certain objects to a new subscription which is a very real scenario so this would be my right answer but let's look at these options the virtual machines can be moved to a new subscription only if they are in the same resource group which is not correct irrespective if there is a resource group or not they can still move like in here if these VMs are independent and not a part of the resource group they can still move to the subscription so the option this third option is wrong the fourth option says the virtual machines can move to the new subscription only if they run on VM uh, running on Windows Server that means if these VMs the operating system is Windows 2016 then only you can move there is no such restriction these can be running on Linux Ubuntu and so on it doesn't matter you can still move them to the new subscription this is the right answer let's move to question 32 you have Azure environment and suppose you have this database SQL server and you have a number of these so now I'm trying to create the fifth one I already have four I'm trying to create the fifth one but I get a message I get this message increase your subscription limits now the question says what should you do to increase the limit so think about it what can be done to increase the limit so we should apply a thumb rule this thumb rule says create support requests to increase the subscription limits so this is my answer so I will show you a part of a documentation that clearly says if you want to raise the limit or quota above the default limit open an online customer request at no charge see service health alerts why do we use think about it suppose you have databases and the database is one of the database is not running fine so you use a health alert system to understand the health of the database this can also be a vm instance you can still use health alerts but health alerts cannot be used to increase the subscription limits so option a is wrong option b suggests to use support plan upgrade so these are your support plans and upgrading these will not help you with increasing the subscription limits if you look at option c modifying an azure policy see policy is a compliance solution if you have a compliance issue see we know that these two types of vm instance is very expensive so a company can decide the leaders in the company can sit together and decide that these two instance types cannot be used when creating a vm so we can create a policy which will avoid creating these instance types because these are very expensive and used for a specific purpose so what does the thumb rule around policy suggest the thumb rule suggests that for compliance adherence use azure policies so in our case use case we do not have a compliance issue hence our answer is correct let's move forward question 33 there are three questions so the first question suggests that each subscription can contain multiple account administrators there can be multiple administrators so there can be multiple service admins or co-admins but only one account admins this is the thumb rule please apply this thumb rule 
So the first answer is no. Now the second question says each subscription can be managed by Microsoft accounts only. So we have a thumb rule. The thumb rule suggests that subscriptions can be managed by AD accounts, that is Active Directory accounts, not Microsoft accounts. So if we apply this thumb rule, the answer should be no. Now the third one says an Azure resource group contains multiple Azure subscriptions. So if you see this hierarchy, the management group is at the top, then we have subscriptions. So our management group can have multiple subscriptions beneath it and subscriptions can have multiple resource groups beneath it. So this question which says an Azure resource group contains multiple subscriptions that is this resource group can contain multiple subscriptions child cannot have multiple parents or child cannot give birth to parents parent give birth to child agree right so if you use that principle then the answer for the third one is no as well so we will lock this answer please subscribe to my channel i hope the concepts are making sense think about the concepts being explained here try to understand the thumb rules and you will successfully pass the exam this brings us to the end of part 6 see you in the next part